Hello and welcome to this video where we're now going to be taking a look at using Fresnels inside our materials. So a Fresnel is a uh, is a is an effect that you get sort of on the edges of your material. Uh, it gives it sort of um, uh, it gives like a sort of a rim of light. I guess is the easiest way to explain that. So um, let's just open up our basic uh, first material. So the the first material we made here. Okay, and uh, let's go to the uh, base color and let's just change this um, down to let's just change the color here to a, a bluish color something, something along these lines and press OK and um, now if I just right click and add a Fresnel so, so we're going to use this uh, Fresnel right here and if I right click on this and choose um, start previewing on node you can see what this does so you can see that we have uh, this outer uh, rim light, okay, or this uh, sort of outer ring, and it gets darker as it gets into the center. Now we can control this through the exponent, so the the highest value, the, the 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 greater it is. So if we bring this value down, so I'll say 0 0.2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 'll so you do 10, it's going to make it really tight along the edges. So the the greater this value, the um, the uh, less uh, effect it has. So if we brought this down to like 100, then it is, it's going to get so um, so tight that you're not really going to see it. So let's bring this down to I think it's the default about five or something. Okay, and we can right click on this and choose um, stop previewing on node. And here's what we're going to do. We are going to bring the exponent here. And um, we want to go ahead and add a multiply. And with the multiply, we're going to press 3 and bring in a constant 3 vector. And let's convert this to a parameter and call this um, uh, for now color. And we're going to plug this into the multiply. I and mean, we want to multiply this uh, by the Fresnel and um, in here we can either add the exponent okay uh, or we can add a constant one vector which is what I'm going to do I'm going to click here and under the uh, description um, actually instead of description I'm going to right click this choose convert to parameter and I'm going to call this Fresnel EXP for exponent okay and uh, we'll give this that value of around 4 and what we're going to do this time is we're going to plug this into the emissive color so now you see we have this uh, Fresnel color so we can start playing around with this value here so let's see 2 yeah, I think we'll stick with 2 and the Fresnel color is black, so we can change this to anything we want. So let's try white. There we go. So we can change this exponent to better suit. Let's go back to that four. Mm, maybe a little higher, six. Okay. And we can uh, sort of really play with these values here. So we have this blue. So if we go in the opposite direction, something. Let's see. We can play around with these values, get, get basically whatever it is, whatever color we like. I'm going to go with this orange color. And press OK. And so you can see we have this uh, Fresnel on the outside here. So because we have parameterized this, we can go ahead and save this. And uh, we can go back to our material instant constant. And you see we have uh, the Fresnel exponent, which is now available to us. And we also have the Fresnel color. And we can simply just change this on the fly to whatever color we like. So we can perhaps go with some sort of different blue if we if we like to. And we can increase and decrease this exponent. 
so let's close this let's bring in uh, some props and uh, I can show you how this looks on an actual asset so we're bringing this uh, default material asset that they use to demonstrate materials go back to my materials and bring in the uh, instant here so let's make this uh, really visible there we go save that and this is our material so that's it for creating a very basic uh, funnel that has many uh, different uses instead of um, just using it in this sort of way um, I uh, thank you for watching please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video